Liverpool against Tottenham and Spurs fans must be getting a little tired of being told that their team went north for this game not having won at Anfield since 1912 but it's a fact. There was also a welcome fact for Liverpool supporters today that Terry McDermott the England midfield player has agreed to sign a new contract tying him to Liverpool for the next two years. Commentator Gerald Sinstad. It's an untrained Liverpool team that Terry McDermott plays in here. The only serious doubt was defender Colin Irwin, who broke his nose on Tuesday night in the League Cup tie against Birmingham, but he's had it reset and makes his seventh appearance of the season. Tottenham, they make one change from the lineup that played in the League Cup on Tuesday when they were beaten by West Ham. Terry Yorath broke a finger in training yesterday, and that lets in Graham Roberts, who was signed from Southern League Club Weymouth. His four previous appearances were all as a substitute. Steve Archibald on the left there and Garth Crooks are the players Spurs will be looking to to spearhead their bid to improve their dismal record at Anfield. Together these two have scored 23 goals this season, 12 to Archibald, 11 to Crooks. David Johnson kicks off for Liverpool in their all red strip. No clash of colours. First touch for Barry Davis. Bottle. Archibald. Pinched from him by Sunis. Alan Kennedy. Sammy Lee coming on a run and Danes will have to come and kick. Irwin. Neil. McDermott. Sunis. Today's referee, Mr. Alan Seville from Birmingham. Mike is up for offside, free kick to Spurs. And Sunis. Danes has been 12 and a half years at White Hart Lane but spent a lot of it in the shadow of Pat Jennings Irwin couldn't get away with that arm hooked over Archibald's shoulder and eventually pulled him down here is that Glenn Hoddle might curl one over the top and drop it in the corner it's something he does with marvellous precision and in fact it was Bia and he very nearly pulled it off problems for goalkeepers when a team has as many dead ball specialists as Spurs have Bia curling that one with the left foot Clements was across but it was a good effort Leash. No offside and a little stabbing punch by Danes saves the day for Spurs. Hewton looking for Crooks now. Irwin above. Soonis. Irwin to Hansen. Hansen setting off on a run. Phil Neal covering for him in the middle. Ball comes loose to Alan Kennedy. Now Johnson. But Dermot back to Johnson. Johnson's shot in. 1 0. Smiles for a goal that could hardly have seemed on. Ball comes out here to Alan Kennedy. There's some fine, sharp passing goes on here. Johnson. McDermott puts him back in with a lovely ball, but look how narrow the angle was and how precise the shot was. So that's David Johnson putting Liverpool 1-0 in front. Hoddle, Roberts. 
memory of this long, long run without success at Anfield begins to haunt Spurs again. David Johnson having scored his tenth goal of the season. It was the uh, 16th of March 1912 that Tottenham last won on this ground. Since then they've had 22 defeats here and 15 draws. Ardiles, Archibald was offside. Defence moving out again, but Hewton had stayed back. And Danes has to head clear. McDermott will try and beat him. And Roberts rescues his side. There was the offside trap failing to work because one man stayed back and created problems of all kinds for the goalkeeper. Danes forced to head out. McDermott read the situation very quickly, beat the goalkeeper. Johnson. header, Dalgleish, Ray Kennedy in the middle with McDermott, Hoddle getting it out to Roberts. Brooks, Perryman, Ardiles, Foul by Sunas on our dealers. Referee's upraised arm indicates obstruction. Direct free kick. And Perryman takes it. Lacey's header. Adam Kennedy bustling away to get it out of the area. Sunas carrying it on. Alan Kennedy. Offside, David Johnson. Johnson just went on and planted it in the net to show what he thought of the tactics. through to Archibald and it just went outside or did it go in it's gone in I thought it had gone outside the post but Archibald has equalized long one in missed by Irwin a lot of space here for Archibald and it was deflected inside the post one all Steve Archibald the scorer no, there was a deflection Archibald's 13th goal of the season. Soonis. Ray Kennedy. This is high and hopeful clearance. Header by Hansen. Ray Kennedy. Dalgleish turning it to McDermott. And back. And Dalgleish now. No penalty, says the referee. Roberts challenge. Hansen. Soonis. Neil to Lee. Johnson, flick on for McDermott. 
And Kennedy to Alan Kennedy with space. Roberts times the challenge well then. Dalgleish in there and Lee to take the corner this time. Dalgleish up. Danes only caught it at the second attempt. But he has it safely now. Well given and a free kick to Liverpool. Lee. Johnson. They see the defender. Lee. Neil. Hansen. Forced to go a long way to collect. Alan Kennedy. Stopped by Hoddle. Hansen stopped by Archibald. And the rebound has fallen well for Archibald. Crook streaking through the middle. Taking the pass but couldn't control it. And would have liked it played just a little bit more firmly. Archibald making the most of a rebound after he'd come to close the player down. That's where he got the rebound and was quick to react to it. Coming in now with Crooks just out of that picture, streaking through. And the pass really needed to be a little bit harder. Always thought of as one of the best psychological moments for a goal just before half time the initiative at the moment with Liverpool as Hansen strides forward Perryman charged down the shot and there is the half time whistle and Tottenham will feel they've done well to be holding Liverpool here to one all Liverpool attack the cop goal in the second half that's Roberts playing a long one towards Archibald Tottenham beaten in their last three games, away to Birmingham and a home to West Brom in the league, and then away to West Ham in the League Cup. Yeah. Hewton. Clements calling and collecting. Lacey against Johnson. Ball comes out to Lee. Lacey getting his head in the way of another one. Soonis. Hoddle beating Alan Kennedy. But couldn't keep the ball in play. Lee Kennedy. Dog leash. Doesn't have many opportunities to show his skill turning on the edge of the box but when he tried it then it uh, deceived McAllister into a foul Danes no doubt a little bit concerned about the possibility of Irwin or Neil coming in on a late run from the far side Soonest to Lee who can drive them from there and the goalkeeper couldn't hold it but he could do enough to put Irwin off scoring tremendous whack there from Sammy Lee this little man does pack a punch Dane saw it coming couldn't hold it in came Irwin and Dane spread himself to deflect the ball for the corner header out now by Roberts to Ardiles won't make it Dermot Lee Johnson and put out a play by Hewton Johnson back to Lee Once again, Liverpool working this right-hand touchline. Little triangles down here, so often successful for them. Dermot, Lee, and sometimes Johnson, sometimes Neil or Dalglish. Dalglish there, and heading wide from the cross. 
really whipped into that header, Kenny Dalgleish. Neil delivering the cross, Dalgleish up, but why? Archibald. Bottle beaten by Alan Kennedy. And here's Johnson in. Just nicked away from him by Roberts, and it's a corner. Roberts. Soonis, Ray Kennedy, oh, he turned well on that! <laughs> 14 minutes into the second half, and the big man turned with all the agility you could possibly wish for. Trap on the thigh, left foot, and Danes left stranded. That was a beauty, 2-1. Good, long, accurate ball from Graham Soonis that made it. And Kennedy, who has a special feeling about Spurs from his Arsenal days, there getting his sixth goal this season, that is. Ardilas, Archibald. Crooks intelligently staying back. There's a free kick now for a trip by Ray Kennedy. Archibald had to try and go it alone there. He had Crooks just ahead of him, but Crooks would have been offside if Archibald had tried to play the pass. Hoddle takes the free kick. Two defenders, Neil and Irwin, go for the header and between them get it out. Leash. Lost control of it, which is rare, and he's also ripped his ankle, I think, on the uh, probably on the edge of the turf on the running track. Well, a moment that came out of no danger at all. His control just for the moment let him down and trying to keep the ball in. Seems to have fallen awkwardly. As soon as with Archibald coming. He's a willing worker, Steve Archibald. Chases everything. Here he is going in again. It's a loose boot there that Mr. Seville didn't like. He kicked the Liverpool. And Liverpool are going to make a substitution. They're not going to take any chances with Kenny Dalgleish. And he comes off really uh, carrying an ankle and Jimmy Case takes his place good welcome for Jimmy Case from the cop and Danes comes for a punch Lee Case couldn't get into it Lee trip by Neil Support from Hoddle. Recovering by Alan Kennedy. Ray Kennedy brings the ball away. Hoddle and Ardil is exchanging passes. Now Crooks. Hoddle again. Archibald. Ardil is one of Tottenham's more promising attacking moves broken up eventually by Alan Hansen for Tottenham's first corner of the game Liverpool have had 11 and Perryman is onto it it was deflected but the deflection took the pace of it Steve Perryman
And Sunis goes on to try to make something for Case, but Lacey clears it, and Sunis is left on the edge of the penalty area, clutching his head. And now offside against Case again. Sunis still down. It's free kick, incidentally. The 20th for offside in the game. Roberts. Sunis. Case chasing it down the line. Nicely weighted pass from Sunis. And he takes the return from Case. Challenge from McAllister, but it's still Sunis. McAllister and Lacey confusing each other. Johnson trying to set it up for Sunis. He could still get it. McDermott couldn't get there. Hewton cleared. Now it's Lee. Neil. McAllister again. Ray Kennedy and over. Tottenham were not exactly in control there, but they were just doing enough to frustrate Liverpool. Second half hasn't been as good as the first, but uh, really there's not ever looked much danger of Liverpool losing this game. Certainly not after the hour when Ray Kennedy scored. Veer. Archibald. Case. Roberts. Referee taking a check from his linesman. Ardiles. And there is the final whistle. Tottenham's long, long record of lack of success at Anfield goes on thanks to a decisive second-half goal scored by Ray Kennedy. Liverpool 2, Tottenham Hotspur 1. Indeed, sadly, that must be a familiar feeling for Spurs coming away from Anfield with nothing to show for their efforts. 68 years since they won there. The Spurs captain, Steve Perryman. What were the tactics this time? Uh, we decided to, instead of playing two up front and four in midfield, our two outside midfield players, Ricky and uh, Glenn, we decided to push them up further onto the fullbacks. Uh, we feel that the fullbacks always get a lot of space to play at Anfield, and they usually destroy us with their service up to the front. Um, I think we made more of a game of it. Uh, I think it made the game more competitive. But uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the result we were looking for. Fans were a bit frustrated, I think, by the offside tactics. Well, last season, we did come up here, and uh, about six weeks before we played here last year, we uh, decided to play a rigid uh, back four, playing a bit square, but keeping the game compact. And when we come here, perhaps through a little bit of fear, we, it turned into a an epic offside battle. We No way did we plan that this time, but uh, if players are running into offside positions, then you're not entitled to run back with them. So after all this, do you still feel that Liverpool are the best team in the country? Uh, very much so, yeah. They think they're a fantastic team here. Uh, they get good results away from home. Uh, I can't see anyone stopping them. Interviewer Gerald Sinstad. Incidentally, news tonight of Kenny Dalglish, who went off injured as you saw. He's got a nasty ankle injury and might even be doubtful for next week's crucial match at Ipswich.